In this video, I will teach you how you can redirect your user from both server side in Next.js. Now, redirecting users to one route to another route is a common task nowadays, especially if you have some kind of authentication system in your application. You might not want all of the visitors of your application have access to every single page, every single route. Okay, suppose you have implemented or developed a social media application but you only want the visitors only the logged in visitors can use your application if any visitor is not logged in you want them to redirect to the login page so that they can log in with their account and then they can use your application but how can you do it in next years in this video i will teach you how you can do it in next years now i have already created a blog post about it at dev.to feel free to check that out so let's get started I have created a simple Next.js application. The server is running at port 3000. It is also opened up on my browser. So I'm in my index file from the pages directory. Next.js use file system routing. So that means my index file is my root route or the home page you can say. And the login file is the slash login route. I want to redirect my user from my root route to the slash login route. Okay. So how can I do this? First, I have to go to the index file because that is the root route file. I have to use a data fetching method called get server side props. If you don't know anything about data fetching methods in Next.js, you can check their docs out. I will put the link on the description. All you have to do is export an async function called get server side props. Now, this function name has to be get server side props because Next.js will call this function from the server when a user will visit the home page. Now, if you are using TypeScript like me, you can import a type from Next.js. I will import it on the top. It will be a named import from Next. All you have to do is now return that type from this function. Now this is giving me an error because I have to return another object from this function. Inside this function, inside this object, you have to nest another object, which is the props for this component. I will leave this for empty now. Now you have to check if the user is logged in or not. It depends how you have implemented the authentication system of your application. You might have done a token based authentication system like JWT and you have stored the JWT token on your cookies on the client side, but you can't access your browser cookies from the server. If you want to do it, you have to do it from this function, get server side props function but I'm not going to bother about it. If you want to learn how you can access cookies from Next.js, I have created a video about it. Feel free to check that out. I will put the link on the description. Just for simplicity, I will just create a variable called is authenticated, which will be a Boolean. And I will set it to false for now. Now what I will do is check for the variable is authenticated is false or not. If the is authenticated variable false, that means the user is not logged in. I will have to redirect my user to login page so that they, so that they can log in. Okay. So I have to do a if statement. If, if is authenticated is false, that means it is true and then this code block will run okay now you have to return another object inside the object you have to nest another object which is the redirect object now inside the redirect object you have to put two properties one is destination and the destination has to be string Another property is permanent. 
which which is have to be boolean i will set it for false now because in the docs the permanent is always false i don't know why they did it but i think you should do it too now in the destination property the string is the route path where you want your users to redirect to so i want my users to redirect to slash login page okay so i will type slash login and this is done okay so i have saved the file if i go to the browser again if i hit refresh you can see that i have been redirected to the slash login page and it's saying please log in if i go to the login file it is saying please log in so redirecting from the server side is successful if i show it to you again i just cleared the slash login part of the url and hit enter it is still taking me to slash login okay if i set this variables to variable to true then this if statement will be false so it won't run so my user will not be redirected so if i go to the browser oh i have to save it now if i clear the slash login and go to the root route i'm not redirecting to the slash login okay so this is working so that's how you can redirect your user from one route to another route from server side in next years. Yeah.